A Fayetteville man killed in a hit-and-run crash while on vacation in Myrtle Beach. 61-year-old William Hogue was in Myrtle Beach for Bike Week. Police say a driver pulled out in front of Hogue, who was killed riding his motorcycle at the time. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm David Crabtree. And I'm Catherine Brown in for Deborah Morgan. Tonight, WRAL's Gilbert Bays is live in Fayetteville after speaking with the victim's son. Gilbert. Catherine and David, William Hogue was no stranger to motorcycles. I talked with family and friends today here in Favo and said over the years he's owned a ton of them. Unfortunately, a crash last night about 2 in the morning on one of them ended his life, and it, it also has forever changed the lives of his family members. Family members describe 61-year-old William Hogue as a great father and grandfather. He has five children, three of them seen here, and six grandchildren. Really, the best father you can really have. Not only did he touch my heart as his son, but he touched others. His son, William Hogue Jr., says his father has made the trip to Myrtle Beach for Biker Weekend for more than 20 years. You know, every Memorial Day week, we just get with a couple friends and we all come from all over and we just meet up and have a good time. But the good time turned tragic this morning when his father was killed in a hit and run accident. Investigators say Hoke and a female passenger on his motorcycle were headed south on Highway 17 when a black sedan pulled out in front of them near the Duplin winery causing the accident. I think they swerved out of the parking lot. They um, hit him. They got out the vehicle checked on him, got back in the vehicle, and then they flee. Hogue died at the scene. The passenger was taken to Grand Strand Medical Center with very serious injuries. While investigators hunt for the hit and run driver, the victim's son is trying to figure out how the family is going to get through the tragedy headed into Father's Day. To be honest with you, I, I, I don't even know, you know? Like, <laughs> I guess it's too far ahead to think about it, but he's really going to be missed. Things are not going to be the same. Now, investigators say Hogan and his passenger were not wearing helmets, but that is not against the law in South Carolina. Now, in addition to being missed by his uh, immediate family, we're told he's also going to be missed by his work family at the Walmart Distribution Center. That's in Hope Mills. He's worked there, Catherine, for 15 years. Hmm. Tough loss, and we know this community is mourning his loss. Gilbert Bay's live in Fayetteville. Gilbert, thank you.